Simon Tricky has spent his life with lions. They understand him and heed them. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. We've got to keep a safety aspect for our clients and so you've got to conti continually assert your dominance over them. I'm just coming with a very soft but a, a very firm confident attitude and they're picking up my confidence in, 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 in my attitude and dealing with them and knowing that here is someone that is best not to mess with. A person that's exhibiting fear, a lion will pick it up instantaneously and exploit that and push the boundaries with that. I mean, even an elephant, at the end of the day, will is, gets, is, is nervous around lions. He'll charge and chase them off, but at the end of the day, he's nervous. Everything in the bush is nervous with lions. So lions are used to any animal they, ca they come across, normally should run away. The minute you stand your ground and you don't run away, you throw a reaction at that lion that he just purely doesn't anticipate. And that throws him off. He just has to take a step back and think, whoa, this animal's not running from me. Why is it not running from me? This is not the reaction that I'm supposed to get. Hence, maybe I must just walk softly around here how I'm going to work with this because this animal is clearly not scared of me. What do you want? Hmm? Hmm? You also want to be naughty. Hey, change your mind. Don't bite my tires. I'm going to smack your bottom. The more habituated and less fearful they become of the vehicle, the more they push the boundaries. They're going to want to come up and sniff the vehicle, taste what the bumper tastes like, taste what the tyres taste like. They love vehicle tyres and the noise their tyres make when it starts to deflate. Um, and I've seen it all over, all over the country. There's lions love the noises tyres make when they go pop. He used to be a professional hunter, but quit after he saw his first canned lion hunt. His entire mission in life now is to get canned lion hunting banned. Simon was the whistleblower on the canned hunting industry. In 1998, he helped bring out an expose on the practice. This became the Cook Report. For that, he has been stopped and there have been attempts made on his life. But nothing has deterred him. Simon is helping rehabilitate some of the rescued lions from a canned hunting farm here in Aquila. No hunting is allowed here, so these lions at least have a chance. He has had years of experience with animal capture, rescue and rehabilitation. Simon made it quite clear to me just what an awful practice canned hunting is. Is lion hunting very lucrative? Yeah. By law, you want to conduct a lion hunt, you need to book. A 10 day hunt. Yeah. Okay. So that's 10 days of paying pH fees at several hundred dollars a day. Your accommodation fees at several hundred dollars a day. Then what happens is, in order to perpetuate the myth that this client's hunting a wild lion, the guys will be sending the trackers out every morning looking for spoor and trying to find signs of where the lions are in the reserve where they're hunting. Um, meanwhile, the lion's happily sitting in his cage getting fed and waiting for his time to come. Eventually, probably around day seven, day eight, the hunters will come in very excited in the morning and tell the client that all oh, the trackers are found.